said, bro. That's all. You can't hit a dude because no one you. That's right. <laughs> we back, y'all. Damn, I almost knocked my cup over. That would have been bad. Classic conversations with JT and Lowe. And that's a cop. So, yeah, man, we just going to get right on back into it. So, you was going to be elaborating? Yeah, so so the Supreme do? Court is going to have the ca- reparations going to be. Oh, hold up. Yeah, elaborating on Thomas. Clarence, 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 Okay. From, from Hollywood Court. <laughs> Go ahead. Clarence Thomas is going to vote with his constituents on affirmative action. Mm-hmm. It's going to affect people in Florida, Wyoming, New York, anywhere south of Canada. They're also going to vote on the, with the Native Americans about are they a sovereign nation or are they a race? So the Supreme Court takes these cases in the summertime, they really get busy. Right, that's when they really take a lot of the cases, sessions in, in place. Clarence Thomas traditionally and, and, and typically is going to vote conservative, even though he benefited from affirmative action. That's how he got to Yale. Mm-hmm. Then he's going to shut it down. And let's go to Harvard. Harvard has the largest population of black people they've ever had, 15%. People say that's affirmative action, whatever, OK. They got a basketball team. <laughs> Forty-three <laughs> percent of the kids that go to Harvard are direct descendants from Harvard graduates. Mm. That's affirmative action too, right? So you're gonna get rid of affirmative action is gonna harm us, but you're gonna let the white boys who got the white daddies with millions of dollars who donate their money back to Harvard go back to Harvard, and that's for all the Ivy League schools. That's you all know? schools. Period. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's more harm than because now you got people who could have really got in a space and a platform to really help somebody. And let's go with another guy who went to Harvard, which is the mayor of uh, Westmore, the mayor of Maryland, the governor of Maryland. He a brother brother. He's a black man. Not a black face white man, he a black man, but he's serving everybody. He guaranteed that the black colleges in Maryland, Bowie State, these others, gonna get more money than they ever had before. And he doing that. He put brothers on boards, black men on boards, so that when money come through the, the chain and you got to decide whether you got this panel, you got black men and black women you got to go through now. So for example, the Preakness wants to move. The Preakness, you ever been in the Preakness? Right, the Kentucky Derby? It's in the hood. It is. <laughs> Millions of dollars flow. We might, none of them stay there. None of them stay. Mm. So they's like, man, let's just move to the white neighborhood. Let's move the prison to the white neighborhood. Westmore put brothers on there. I mean, these, these brothers is, is, is got pictures with Farrakhan. You know what I'm saying? They ain't shying away. And they speaking like we speaking. And, and, and they, necessarily, they won't say fuck white people in public. But. <laughs> so that's my point, yeah. OK, yeah. That's it. <laughs> but they down with their people. Yeah. And I agree with you. That's just because. And, 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 and that's the thing. But so what I mean by that is billions of dollars flow through this through the state of Atlanta. Billions of flight gonna flow through the city. You know it. You know these are the problems, you know these are the solutions. Why are they not coming together? What's stopping this from happening? Mm. Who are these structures and what is this structure? Atlanta city government, uh, Atlanta school board. Oh. Right. But let me show I, I'm gonna go with Ford the kind because I know it better than Atlanta Public School. Seven zones, you get seven votes. So let's say, oh man, we got a big reading problem in Fulton County. Okay, we're gonna put $3 million aside for that, but it's gonna go to all the schools evenly. We're gonna reading program. Do the reading program for three years. We say, wow, he really helped these three, these three zones, but these other four zones are, are, are hurting more. Let's uh, put another four billion million on top of that three million. But it should only go to the but four schools. But it should only go to the four the schools. Not, we got to vote. But them schools is Banneker, Tri-Cities, Westlake, Creekside, black schools. Mm. Now you got to vote. Mm. You got seven votes. The South Side get two votes. Mm. The North Side, North Fulton get five votes. <laughs> Sound good. But why, 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 why did you make the vote? Let's go with a real one. This is a real one right here. You got more fights in the South Side than you do 
on the north side. But you got more drug issues on the north side than you do on the south side. So let's say we're going to hire 20 canine dogs, dog sniffers. It's going to cost us $2.1 million. I bet all of them in the south side. Right, right. <laughs> so now we're going to hire 100 staff members, safety staff members on the mm -hmm. south side. That's going to cost you $8 million. I'm just making numbers up. But it's, I want to show a gap. Mm -hmm. Now we got to vote. How are we going to win the vote? We only get two votes. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the structure that we got to understand. This is what we, so when I say, man, that's fucked up, why would you do this to me? Mm. Why would, and then why, when you educate me, you don't really tell me my truth? Why you didn't tell me Kimmy, the Nile Valley? Why you didn't tell me we invented? If you Google right now who invented math, they're going to come up. Sumerians, Greeks. Goddamn it, pyramids 10,000 years older than any Greek civilization. You're going to tell me hmm. women been getting their hair braided evenly on both sides, <laughs> and you're going to tell me I ain't invent man? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to tell me to this fucking day, you all know how you built these pyramids, how you get these two-ton granites up here, and you're going to tell me I ain't invent man? Wow. You're going to tell me Hipp Hippocrates, the Greek, invented medicine, and motherfucking Hemotep wrote a book 1,800 years older than this man? Mm. Yeah. The first recorded genius is black. Mm. Mm. M Hotel. He, they got a school right down the street, too. Black school, Afrocentric. Asa Hillard. Asa Hillard was a motherfucker with this man. You, mm. I mean, we, but we don't know that we don't have to go to white schools, that we can create geniuses and honor students. Oh, I totally agree. Right 100. there at 100% black schools. I agree 100%. With 100% but... black curriculum, and our kids won't know who George Washington is. I know 100%. Wow. I agree with that, but you got wow. governors like the Florida governor ain't going <laughs> to wow. let that happen. <laughs> he ain't got no choice. If we, yeah. if, we, if we demand it, he won't have a choice. Well, that demand is nice, but like if you can easily get that wow. done in, say, city of Atlanta, if you can get the government to act right, and if you can get nah, school book to act if. right. <laughs> if, 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 if. And that's all black. You're talking about two organizations that are pretty much all black. They're not black, though. they black face. But that's my point. That's the problem we have black when you're talking white. about the majority of places that have issues that are black. The majority of blacks living, if you look at Chicago, you look at New York, you look at any major city on, on the eastern seaboard where probably 70% of our population lives in, the major cities, Birmingham, put all of them in there together, Memphis. Okay, when you took at those populations that have been run by Mac, black mayors for years, okay, you say black face, white soul. Okay, I, I totally agree with you 100%. But those schools, it has to be done like brother Umar. We got to abandon them schools, bro. Mm. Fuck them. Don't send your kid there no more. Okay. We got online schools. We got Afrocentric schools. You ain't got to go, bro. I mean, we ain't going to all leave at one time, but we can get 2 or 3% of the to I make totally this move. I totally agree with you, but once we get that going, I can see it, but my kid We can't get it going, though, as soon as we get some money. Man, I'm getting the fuck off Benjamin Mays, man. I'm going over there in the Cherokee County. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going up there to goddamn Alpharetta. That was, no. that was the first. We, we going to Kennesaw. We, just, man, just fuck us. that shit, man. We got to stay right here and build our community. Mm -hmm. We got to stay right. And if we're going to leave our community, we got to be coming back. We still mm -hmm. got to go to the YMCA. I, I totally agree with that. We, 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 we got we to. And until that point happened, man, we're going to always suffer. Mm -hmm. And it's always. Mm -hmm. But the ratio. But this is what I'm saying. It's all, we had black millionaires during slavery. Mm -hmm. Millionaires. Mm -hmm. A nigga mm -hmm. owned Memphis. Robert Smalls owned, I don't think it's Robert Smalls, Robert Church. Remember the one that gave the money to Ida B. Wells when she was in California? Yeah. Oh. But anyway, a black man owned Memphis. Mm -hmm. The whole fucking city. He was the man. They had that fucking storm and some type of flu. He was buying everything up. We had black men, Jeremiah in North, New York. We had a, another woman who helped John Brown during slavery. She, she married, she married, she was a fair-skinned lady and married a Cuban and uh, ended up selling whale oil. Because, you know, you burn the kerosene, you get the smell, mm -hmm. the whale oil was there. Then she moved to uh, California. But anyway, we had black men there. We always had successful black people in America. Uh -huh. But we've never had a collective where we worked as a unit. We never had a situation where we were collective in the sense of, and then you got to think too, and we do do things that are successful and it start going right, it's sabotage. Like Black that Wall I'll Street. That I agree with that 100%. Black Wall Street. Like, like, the, mm -hmm. like, the, like, like to get down uh, 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 Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. That's a hell of an organization, man. Gun laws didn't change until them niggas stood on the goddamn Capitol building with guns. Right. Mm -hmm. And said, this is my motherfucking right. Cracker, what you gonna do about it? And, and stood on that shit. Stood on it. School lunch program. Then they started sabotaging. That, that's black cohesiveness. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. And white people, I'm telling you, man, Ronald Reagan is from Illinois, Dixon, Illinois. This is one white man. Governor of California. He announced he wanted to be president in Mississippi. Now, why would a white man from Illinois, Governor of California, <laughs> go, to, go to Mississippi to say he wanted to be the president of the United States? <laughs> that don't tell me one thing. We back, baby. Mm -hmm. Make America great again was his original slogan. You see? Mm. That wasn't Trump. But, it, 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 it. but wow. niggas, niggas will go out there and, and blacks for Trump. All in his motherfucking face, loving him. <laughs> they won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and until we wake up and understand, fuck white racism is a joke, but I can say it, you know? Because mm. I, ain't, I ain't bound to them. And, we, and you know, we, 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 we can make it without them too, you know that? Like, yeah, we, don't, we, we, we got enough capital, we can make it without them, bro. Question just came in it's with the accessibility of today's technology, why can't we collectively come together? We're doing it. I think, I, I think the main thing is we, we don't advertise it enough. Mm. We mm. advertise shaking our ass, we advertise uh, uh, killing, uh, killing, gun killing, killing, killing. But we don't advertise that we do support each other. You was down there with Earthquake. Earthquake made it in the black market. Chappelle made it, he made it. You know what I mean? Earthquake is, did nobody know Earthquake? This motherfucker had to go to Mississippi <laughs> to get his goddamn HBO special. <laughs> God Remember that scene down in Biloxi? Yeah. Tearing it up. <laughs> did nobody know him? Chappelle made it, he made it. You see what I mean? But Chappelle had to stand on that word too. Chappelle had to stand on that truth. He Man, y'all ain't about to pimp me. Yeah, he did. He did. And they he, thought he they really took everything. It. Now that motherfucker get on HBO and say fuck transvestites, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. And still and I got fifty minutes. And he still All got the motherfucker in America that didn't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody yeah. censoring his shows. Right. You know what I mean? He say anything he want. That's an intelligent brother. He puts it out there. He says fuck transvestites. But he don't say to fuck chance. Oh, he do. He say to you. He, he, he said you facts out there no. so beautifully that you see. Real joke. You can't be a woman with that beyond meat pussy and that, <laughs> and that, and that grand and that, and that cranberry juice dripping down <laughs> your leg. <land. laughs> you is not no fucking woman. That's a David Chappelle joke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <on Netflix>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bruce Jenner. I respect you for being Wait, a woman, but you oh, ain't no man. woman with that beyond meat pussy. <laughs> Did you say beyond me? <laughs> That's the yeah, Chappelle yeah, yeah, said that. Said that shit and got fifty million dollars yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually uh, somebody sent me that one the other day. I'm a Chappelle fan. Wow. Let me ask you this: when, when someone comes to you and says, "I can't," I understand what you're saying, but I I can't see myself surviving right now if I was to go that route. Mm -hmm. What? I would tell them to keep. That, that's a, I couldn't do it first either. I ain't just wake up, you know what I mean? I used to be, I drank the Kool-Aid too. And I believe that if you, if you just be good and get an education and be honest, mm -hmm. don't double dip your dick <laughs> and uh, pay all your bills, get a good credit score, life is gonna be okay. <laughs> so don't have a bunch of baby mamas, huh? Don't double dip the dick. <laughs> double dip in the dick costs a lot of money. <laughs> dip it in one hole, baby. That don't, <laughs> you try to get that strawberry. <laughs> don't get no chocolate strawberries either. <laughs> double dip in the dick, get your ass in trouble. But 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 uh, uh. I believe in that stuff, man. And then I, I work with white people. I couldn't say fuck white people 10 years ago, five years ago. Man, but I've seen these Tell them what happened to you in Illinois. What did you do to, to stop teaching in Illinois? I had a mental breakdown, man. White people was giving me anxiety attacks. I couldn't take it. I, I, I couldn't take it 
they think I was choking shit, but man, like, these motherfuckers is for real, bro. Mm. Nice white people are just as fucked up as bad white people. Mm. <laughs> I agree. Being yeah. nice don't make you not racist. Hold on, hold on. Fuck you too. <laughs> because, it, because if you're not working at yourself first, and your people around you second. So when I say that, I can say fuck white because the people I do know that's white, they work on themselves. They accept the fact that we done you wrong. And I've been socialized to be racist. I have as a black man and you have as a white man. And they recognize that. So they don't feel offended by that. Especially they know my personality. So it's not like that. So, but I would say it to the person who's, who's not at that point is just believe what you see. They killed Trayvon because he, he that motherfucker was racist. And then individual racism fucked up. Systematic racism, that motherfucker walking around right now. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. They couldn't figure out shit to get this motherfucker. He ain't got a jaywalking ticket. <laughs> Goddamn OJ took his shit back. That nigga went to jail for 20 <laughs> That nigga killed a white woman and a white man. They walked. They had a fucking riot. <laughs> no, a rebellion. They had a rebellion. Trayvon Martin, that, yeah. nigga, just wait. Trayvon Martin was a very good example of systematic racism because a prosecutor in that case purposely overcharged. And you have all these 1% black intellectuals in the country, country that teach law or in law, and nobody spoke out on that. They overcharged him because when you charge somebody with murder, or murder one depends on the side, I forgot what it is with the statute in Florida, what's required for that is malice. And there's so many more things to, uh, you have to prove without a doubt. And so when they put him up on that, they knew there's no word where you could have got uh, that, malice that murder. But if you would, what he did, if your actions without intent caused the death of another, that was one that would have uh, been a definite conviction but, but, on manslaughter. Can we get they him on fucking white bitches like we did uh, no, no, uh, Bill Cosby or something? No, say, no my, point is, <laughs> my point I'm trying to say is... They got other crabs that can charge you with. The fucking white women is the crab. But, 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 but theirs was more so... Yeah. They were more concerned about the stand your ground than they were about Trayvon or him. Mm. Those white folks wanted to make sure the stand your ground wasn't affected. It was that, that was the whole point of the overcharging. Well, we can't saying, we can't lose this case because yeah. it affect our standing ground part. That was all that was all about. But can we get them on something else? Yeah, I'm, I mean it's amazing. I mean they got it's, all it, kind it, of shit. They can make shit up on this motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. lie every day, man. Yeah, we lie every day and shit. Still, <laughs> something. Still he had to fuck He He's had to shit. Living. Do something. I, hey, man. I, I can't believe somebody ain't took him out. That's they one tried. thing Charles and White said. I like it. Charles and White said, man, he like y'all. Killing each other, all these game mangas and all this stuff, mm -hmm. but y'all letting that joker just walk around just free mm -hmm. as a bird. Hey, having, when, a, having a ball. You know what I mean? And they gave him his gun back. Mm -hmm. They gave him the gun back that he killed this young and boy he sold with. Sold it at an auction. Yeah. Sold it at an auction. Crazy. Got a lot man. of money for it. And, and signing autographs and shit at auctions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at the, at the same time, I'm just saying that's, that's mm -hmm. individual racism is bad, but the system let him go. Yeah. So I'm saying to that person who's not at that point, like, Accept that reality, like you just seen that with your own eyes. You just witnessed that, accept that. Mm. Let feel that. Cause if we, if you accept how you really feel, you're gonna protect your child. I'm gonna teach my child, hey man, come home, be respectful. Keep his badge number. You know That's what I mean? Do, do, do something else You've had that conversation. to get spunky. Cause I need you to come home. We'll fight him nailer, we get him in, in, in with a complaint. That's right. We'll get him some other kind of way. So I just say keep plugging, keep learning, believe what you see, and understand these people are serious, man. These people have been to conferences and, and G7 meetings all on the backs of how we gonna fuck these, <laughs> keep these people in. And you gotta think of something too, man. They rule by lack of knowledge. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Africans rule by the sharing of knowledge. You see, if I teach you, if your father raises you, you always love your father. Mm. If a person has more, you Don't always love your fish. teacher. Everybody push got a favorite teacher because they pushed them to another level. Mm. They had the knowledge and they gave that knowledge to the child or to another adult. They rule on not giving that knowledge. That's the strategic plan. And they keep that knowledge in a small pocket. And it's called white men to get that knowledge. 
and they get tax incentives and they get all mm. kind of shit. And then when we figure that shit out, they change the game. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, shit USDA is. subsidies that they gave yeah. white farmers for years. My grandfather was actually part of that lawsuit it was out of Mississippi and Louisiana where people were getting paid not to grow certain stuff and they didn't get paid for years. I mean, this, this went on all the way into like the 80s where they were letting white farmers get paid not to grow something, but they could still plant something. They can still plant something else in those fields. And so, get money. yeah, that's, that's 100%. But when we learn, that was we the government. We got to absorb that government. and say, damn, yeah. let me put that in my catalog. Let me learn something else. Then let me see, how do we resist this? Everybody just take this shit sitting down. And everybody mm -hmm. wanting out here in the streets, marching up and down the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, we had armed rebellions. Mm -hmm. We've had successful... Uh, uh, slave revolts. We've had successful, a lot of things, temp past and present. But the only thing to always get all the attention is when we begging for our humanity, Black Lives Matter. And, and I love Black Lives Matter, but that's a begging to that cracker for your acceptance. Love me. Mother, may I go out? Mother, may I? Daddy, may I? No. But the moment, other things that get a lot of publicity, George Floyd. NFL, everybody, we got to get a nigga something. Mm. Shit, everybody seen that. You know what I mean? We got to do something. We got to, we got to do, you know, racism, it, it breathes, it expands, and it constricts. So we got George Floyd on his money, then 75 million people vote for Trump. Mm. Damn, mm. You, really, you really give a fuck about me? Wow. Hey man! Wow! I, I hope y'all taking notes. As big facts, matter of fact, bro. I hope you're not taking notes. I actually hope you go look at this tomorrow, and hit this <laughs> button, and share it to everybody so they can get educated. Also, stay with us. We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, we back, man. Classic conversations with JT and Lowe. And that's a cop. This man, I've, you know, Nash told us about this, brother. And it um, seems like we could do three shows on this. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, yeah. So, Easy. So to keep, we have some other topics. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna move on. But actually, again, this is something that he knows a lot about. So, sir, African mathematics. Now, what do you teach? <laughs> African mathematics. <laughs> African mathematics. So by, by teaching African mathematics, I tried to use the terminology that Africans use, the original inventors. And it also gives credit to the origin to the people who invented the man. Right? So you don't say English, because that gives credit. We talk English because we get credit to the England, right? Uh, the people we 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 can't. When you speak French, you give credit to France. Mm -hmm. So if you're teaching English. Right? The language mm -hmm. that gives credit to that. We talk English. So math mm -hmm. is African. We give credit to the Africans. Math is created, invented by Africans. Documented. And so that's, that's, that's and, and I was telling them, like, people, like, hit you, like, what does that mean? What is that? Just take a minute. Mm -hmm. that, really what it do is just take a minute and think about what I just said, right? You've been, all mm -hmm. your life been taught math, and you never knew it was African. They say Sumerians. Mm -hmm. Algebra is yeah. from Iran. Mm -hmm. And then you just hit them with the temples. Mm. How you build a pyramid without math? Mm. How you farm That's without math? That's precise ass, man. <laughs> How you farm without math? How you do anything without math? And then who the first people? We are. Hell from the East. We are. But white man, that's one thing white man, well, he, won't, he, he, he won't teach that. And any of them maze, all them schools, he won't teach that. Mm. He won't teach that. He won't. He, I feel that. I see because that would give you inspiration. Right. 100%. Mm. Damn. 100%. And if you inspire. Dangerous. You're dangerous. Because <laughs> we, like, we geniuses, like, naturally, like, like, name me the time. Name me, the, name me four white people that won the Olympics in the 100, 200, 
Give me the dash. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> we got that same genius in our mind. But the but you, but the but the body is moving. You can't control that. Like you like, right? Sean Kemp is just born like that. Michael Jordan born like that. You saying both born like that. Our mind has to be cultivated. But if it's cultivated, that's how you get the genius. So it's to start to it start to thinking of, it's planting a seed that maybe later on you'll think about the damn, we really we really we really is some bad motherfuckers. We are the standard of all intellectual properties. We've mastered it. We had batteries. We had, we, when white folks had outhouses in America in 17, 1800s, we were shitting on gold toilets with running water. <laughs> gold toilets with running water. When they had bath houses where everybody getting the same mm -hmm. bath, we had individual baths. Mm. We knew, we, we had soap. When the Moors took over Spain, they said the, the, the Moors people told, man, we don't want them motherfuckers to leave shit. They got libraries and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't never had this shit before. <laughs> Look at we can read. <laughs> Talk about the Moors um, overrunning Europe and its effect. It, it had a, a huge effect. I don't want to go too deep, but like the Moors ruled part of Italy, Spain. They were, they were they, and, and see, they get a break off because you got North Africans and Moorish, but they Moorish. more European looking. But the, but the Africans we're talking about here, the Moorish people, ruled Portugal, Spain, uh, uh, Italy. Mm -hmm. But when they came, they did come with violence, and it wasn't a perfect situation. But when mm -hmm. they came, they let people live in peace, which is mm -hmm. why you got in Spain, you got a big Jewish population, mm -hmm. you got a Catholic population, and you got a Muslim population. Mm -hmm. Existing at the same time, sharing knowledge. They built libraries. They made it was mandatory to read. Mm -hmm. So there was no sense of, of, of keeping information from you so I can take over, take you over. We ruled Spain for seven, eight hundred years. Mm -hmm. And people don't talk about that stuff. We ruled, we ruled Italy when, 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 when the man come down with the elephants. Damn, I forgot his name. Hannibal. Hannibal. Uh, Hannibal. 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 They over there looking this way. We come down the mountains with elephants. No, too fast, Alps Hill. That's advanced military with no guns. Mm -hmm. mm. In the know? theory where they married their, um, not, they didn't do like Genghis Khan killing, raping pillage. Mm -mm. The, he married, and this way, if you could touch on this a little bit, when they married their officers and senior officers into the great families of Europe. A lot of them rich families. That's how they, that's how they, got a little bit tent, and that's also how a lot of tan got in Jews also. Mm -hmm. Well, the Jew is black. Yeah, the Jew is black, but they don't claim it now. But that's one thing that a certain celebrity touched you, on. If you want to win a, a, a bet, the oldest synagogue that we know about is in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. The Lost yeah. Scrolls and how the... Get, get, get a Jewish man drunk and make that bet. And, and, and <laughs> And then when they finally got the Ethiopian Jews to Israel, look how they did them. Did them. Still doing them. Still doing them. And trying to get them to go back. And, and, and when you go, like, you just hit on this with the, with the, with the, with the situation. I don't know how to segue that, but, like, when you look at, but we just stay there. We just stop right there. But we was going, I was thinking about, like, uh, uh, religion and how, it's, how, it's, how it was manipulated to Control the masses. Control the masses. Fear. Mm -hmm. Fear. Right. So the only way you get knowledge or information out is three main sources, right? Education, religion, and media, mm -hmm. right? That's how the masses of people know. And as we evolve, as we evolve, media is becoming more popular than other, and it's uncontrollable, right? So they can, you can control the media because <clears throat> you own the newspapers that my granddaddy read. Mm -hmm. You own the TV channels, but now with social media, you can't you can't lock Anybody that down, star, yeah. right? You co you still control the education system. There ain't no way in the world no kids should come out of school and not know about the Haitian Revolution. I don't give a fuck if you in if you in Wyoming, you in Florida. That, that's the greatest fucking story in the Western Hemisphere. They don't want to sow the seeds though. 
And then what that did to inspire, without the Haitian Revolution, there is no Nat Turner. Mm. There is mm-hmm. no Denmark Vesey. There is no successful rebellions like they had the, the, the rebellion. It only lasted a few minutes, but they won in New Orleans one time, on the outskirts of New Orleans. They lasted about three days, but they whipped the white folks. And won. Your boy down here in, in, in the uh, South Carolina won. Dang, I can't. The Stono Rebellion. You know? 100 men. Man, they whipped them motherfucking white folks so bad, they said, you can't even play drums no more. That, they, <laughs> they had, you go down there and look at it. You niggas better not play drums. Y'all better not be more than two of y'all together, and y'all better not be talking nothing but English. Mm. <laughs> That's in the fucking, you know, the, you know, they write them codes up. The ordinance and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's how I started African mathematics. It's just to inspire and see for people to think beyond just math being this isolated situation. Mm-hmm. I also started calling people African. Like I was telling, and it's like, you know, you call black people African, they, they're like, what the fuck? You ain't European, you ain't Chinese. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And even you talk to Chinese people, they say I'm Chinese. They don't say I'm Chinese American. Mm. White people say they, they white. You know, they don't stay there to call themselves Euro Americans. That's correct. So we we African, and we got we got to recognize that, embrace that, and, and work from there. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Boy. So, how did you uh, end up leaving Chicago, though? My son, my oldest son was graduating college, and my youngest son was going to kindergarten. Wow. Yeah, got a gap. Major gap. I was double dipping that dick. So he graduated preschool. I had, yeah. He graduated graduated preschool, but I had to pay, though. But I, I was, uh, then we know, me and my wife knew we didn't want that son, because we both kind of became conscious at the same time. We know we didn't want that son to receive the, that type of education. So we put Chicago on the map, Philly, New York, Atlanta, DC, and New Orleans. We put New Orleans because we just like New Orleans. We're going to just stay there a year in homeschool. Mm-hmm. Chicago is kind of, we already been there, done that. Philly, New York, cold. D.C., super expensive, super expensive. So we chose Atlanta. We found Imhotep. Uh, our son went there. It was an Afrocentric school. And Afrocentric means that, that, you, that you root. You, you learn everything else, but you root in Africanism. Mm-hmm. So when you teach about inventors, you teach about black inventors. You teach about when you read, you read African, books written by African people. When you do anything, it's rooted in Africanism. Then we found the school, we found it was better be Colombo, who Mama Shosho and her husband teaches at Georgia State. I don't want to say her name, it's Emoja, Unity. No, uh, so she was even deeper rooted in what we wanted. And she centered, she centered, everything's based in Africanism. Her walls, her talk, her conversations, her, vac- her, her, her field trips. My son is not less intelligent because he went to a black school, right? So he's actually more intelligent. He's proud. Mm -hmm. He has esteem. He could tell me things, you know, correct me on certain things, uh, which is beautiful. And so that's how we ended up here out of all the places. And and then we, we, we knew we had to leave Illinois, though. Like, it's rooted. Hmm. It's rooted. Rooted in what? <laughs> <laughs> White folk for real by getting in your man. Man, I'm going to tell you, if y'all don't think this shit fake, go to court, go to family court, child support court, and watch how they treat us in that courtroom. Just sit down. That shit is free. That shit is entertainment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Traffic court is really entertaining. Child support court. <laughs> Just sit down there and watch. I know, I know that's entertaining. 
nigga, you owe thirty five thousand dollars. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker make eight dollars now, you're thirty five thousand dollars. <laughs> Ain't no fucking working shit out. <laughs> we both fucked shit. It wasn't no one side of the fan. I gotta do every motherfucking thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She, 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 she would say, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. I go to court, the goddamn judge fucked me like, like I was fucking her, you know? But uh, that shit ain't right, man. I done seen that shit. You get fucked in black man in court. You better all just not going. Don't get no lawyer. Just don't go. And wait for the papers to come in the mail. <laughs> if you're going to go, you better have a condom because you're going to get fucked. I mean, the court system really fucks us over, man. And the more affluent, and the, more affluent the areas are that you're in, we was kind of in the middle class area, you see this stuff like Lake County, probably the richest county in the Midwest. That's where I live. I didn't live in the richest part because it's, it's got some money out there. But I wasn't in the poorest, poorest part. But you ought to see this shit, man. These motherfuckers were going there, man. You a truck driver. You owe $800. You going to jail. Right now. What, what, what? Nah. White boy going there. Beat her ass. Ain't pay alimony. <laughs> owe Got a four hundred dollar check, and you're on. I got a new job. I'm working at the goddamn factory. And I'm well. We're gonna work it out, Charlie. You know what I mean, it's Charlie. <laughs> and, uh, they really, they really do you a number in there, man. <laughs> they really do you a number. <laughs> they had me paying one time. I probably just said they had me paying one time. Man, I said, man, I don't even owe this motherfucker no money, man. Y'all got me paying money, man. Had me paying for a motherfucking uh, uh, passport. Mm. To go to, a, to go to motherfucking Puerto Rico. I go in there with a letter from the Secretary of State. You don't need a passport. It just said, I don't give a fuck. You stay that motherfucker. <laughs> Get your ass out of here, nigga. I mean, uh, next case, please. Case one, oh, three, four, five. <laughs> That is something you write about. She might leave Puerto Rico and go somewhere else. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, well, listen, but before, before we go to break, the other thing was uh, the different, what did you say, the different names of slavery? The different forms. The different oh, forms oh, oh. So different forms, is, is, well, I think what I was telling him was I did a, a well, I can't say that part because I get in trouble. But how do you, how do they call you a nigga now? Is a lesson. Because they can't call you nigger. Nigger, nigger. They don't do that no more. But if you look at the outcome of what a nigger got in, a nigger got in 1850, and what a black man get today, it's equivalent. Right? So if, if your father or your stepfather who beats you when y'all live in a trailer home, it's different. Now you live in a mansion, right? You still get your ass whooped. But it's different levels to that shit. So, so, they, so like when I say they call you a nigga now, like I was talking about the voting zone. Like right here in Georgia, Marjorie Taylor Greene mm. split up. They like they divided Cobb County because Powder Springs is now turning black. I ain't been here that long. I see it. Powder Springs is black. But she's supposed to be in Powder County. Why they bring her over there? Mm -hmm. That they weakened the black vote. Tuskegee. That's what they're about to vote on, too, the, the Supreme Court. Going to vote on the, on the Alabama uh, voter, voter thing. Now, a Trump-appointed lawyer, uh, 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 a Trump-appointed judge told the state of Alabama that y'all uh, redrew the voting sections, and it's not right. It's not appropriate. They basically, Tus Tuskegee was 90%, 99% black. They divided it. So they won the case in the Supreme Court of Alabama, now it's going to the Supreme Court, U.S. Supreme Court. So U.S. Supreme Court kicked it back and said, well, we're going to keep it the way, the, old, the map as it is. We're not going to revert to the old map that was before y'all uh, gerrymandered it. We're going to stick with the gerrymandered map, and then we're going to take the Supreme Court. That's what they did right now. It's going to go and watch Clarence Thomas. Watch him. Watch him. We got three black people on the goddamn, what's the name? Sonia, Katanji Brown, and Clarence, and watch Clarence. Watch Clarence dance. Mm, dance. <laughs> and people forget, why, why did he get in trouble with Anita Hill? Oh, uh, the pubic hair on the coat pants. 
Nigga said he got a 13 inch dick. Remember that? We watched the porn star. <laughs> Clarence Thomas claimed he hanging high here and Anita Hill said, I feel uncomfortable having watching porno with you. This motherfucker on the Supreme Court. Mm. So anyway, the, 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 uh, this is how they call you a nigga now. They don't call you, but you got the same outcome. Right? You get the same outcome. And then what they do then too is like, they feed you more Novocaine so that you feel like everything good. It doesn't hurt as much. It don't hurt as bad. Because the ghetto got marble floors now. Well, we can afford to marble floors in the ghetto. Motherfucker, we living, we living way, that shit outdated to us. You know what I mean? So we have to understand that they still feel the same way. Damn, sitting senator, Tuberville, the people who want reparations. Now, I don't know who the fuck want reparations in America but us. Japanese got it. Native Americans got it. <laughs> Germany got it. Yeah, everybody got it. So when this motherfucker says the people want reparations, what did he just say? Mm. Them niggas mm. want what you got. Mm. They want Miss Ann, and they want your goddamn money. <laughs> Miss Ann. That's how they call you a nigga now. They don't call you a nigga. Then the motherfucker come back. What did he say the last time he came back? Uh, he had to come back and apologize. Same one, Tuberville. What is he talking about? He got in trouble a couple months ago. Damn, I forgot what he said, but that shit was, he, this motherfucker here, he's sitting. Then you got another one who chose the white national, white national, uh, remember that? Yeah. From New York? No, he ain't got impeached. He ain't got fucked up by nobody. This black man out in the fucking public, hmm. a representative, just talking out loud, Marjorie Taylor Greene go confront him. I was scared. Yep. Bitch, what you go over there for? <laughs> <laughs> you got a thousand motherfucking guns in your house. What the fuck you scared of him for? And why she need a gun in a million dollar house? Quick question. Do you feel the system perpetuates black people to only use their bodies as entertainment and shun the cultivation of the mind? Well, yeah. Listen, we're going to take a break. We're going to let him answer that question. Then we're going to go into the top five. Is that what we're doing? All right, that'll work. That's what we're doing. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. We back. We back. Class of Conversations with JT and Lowe. That's a cop. Hey, man, your fingers, y'all fingers, what's wrong? Y'all ain't hitting these buttons out here, man. I need y'all to hit them buttons like you've been doing. Now, all of a sudden, you stopped. I mean, you're probably listening a lot because there's a lot He's of scared. stuff coming out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's> scared. <laughs> they saw what happened to Ask a Cop when he opened his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was but a yeah, contender. man, I need y'all to hit them buttons, the like button, love button, care button, laugh, crying, get mad, all of it. Hit the buttons because it's going to help our algorithm go up. Because as I've told you before, if you didn't write this stuff down, you can see it again tomorrow on Spotify. You can see it on Amazon. You can also see it on YouTube. Go to those pages. Make sure that you like and you share. Because if you're sharing, as the man just said, you're sharing knowledge. So we're gonna um, let you answer this. What, what was going go with your question again, man? Uh oh, hold on. Where do I go? <laughs> it was from our, our millennial, millennial coalition. He <laughs> said, uh, "Do you feel the system perpetuates black people to only use their bodies as entertainment and shun the cultivation of the mind?" Oh yeah. We got a thing at war they call booty. <laughs> B-O-O-T-Y, I hope I spelled that right. But booty is the spoils of uh, war. Oh, booty, yeah. And that's all we do. We, 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 we are given all the things we need to entertain. And we're given everything we need to uh, be less than the whole man. And when men present themselves and women present themselves as, as their whole self, it's a problem. And, and we gotta be able to, to accept the diversity of who we are, right? So Monique is a problem, but to who? 
but she our sister. We got to accept her just like we accept uh, uh, Nia Long. Mm. Right? They're my sisters. And Monique got a problem being who she is because not enough people in the industry show up as who they really are. So when they have to get challenged with something, it's, it's stand alone. Stand alone. And then we don't have a knowledge base. So we have to cultivate the mind. And when we cultivate our minds collectively, and we don't even need everybody. We just need, like W. Du Bois said, we need a talent of 10. We don't need everybody. We just need enough. And what that tipping point is, we haven't gotten there yet. Did you see her stand up? Hmm? Did you see her stand up? Stand up for what? No. Said so you see her like the yeah, last one. Yeah, I didn't like it though. You didn't? I didn't like it at all. It was too much cussing, and I was like, "Where are you going with it?" But I, I love her. I just didn't like that 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 I one show. Exactly where she was going. I, mean, I feel like she told a story. She told a story, but she 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 implemented through the story of how she's always been since a young girl. Mm -hmm. She answered a lot of questions. She was she was saying something mm -hmm. without saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like. I mean, it was a lot of cussing. I mean, but, but your like comments must be funny. That. Huh? It's supposed to be funny. I think she did. Be fun she on now, but you got a message out. Yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely a message. Cause she's much funny if you see her. She wasn't funny at all on that. That's special, in my opinion. Well, that but I'm trying to get back to the club, so it was hilarious, Monique. <laughs> 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 Hey, that was absolutely hilarious. Look, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me switch that up. Uh, what they talking yeah, about? Man, man, you a genius. Look, man, hold up. Matter of fact, let's like make. That. All right, y'all. Y'all got to play along. Let's make this into a clip. All right. Say, so, hey, man. So you know what he was saying about Monique? Did y'all like her last special? I loved, loved it. it. She was crazy good on Netflix. I see it again. Big fan. I watched it ten times. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah, man. I, I, I think she. I think she's. She's back. You're still sexy. So come on up. home, Monique. Genius. <laughs> Genius. Mm. Chocolate. Damn. All right. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all. School is um Hey, real quick. Notes in your mouth, not in your hands. Who's your favorite celebrity? Oprah. Oprah Winfrey by far. Because. Man, I could be honest, when I was in college, I used to just, I was, that was when she was on, that was my time off. And I looked, she stood on what she believed in. Because remember Jerry Springer? Remember you, when she came in, you had Donahue, mm -hmm. who was number one. She was coming up the ranks. Then you had Jerry Springer, who was beating her out of ratings. And she never stooped, man. She never went to that dirty stuff. She said, I'm going to keep on this. I'm going to keep showing people in a good light. I'm going to bring people up here who are uh, positive, encouraging, sympathetic, real. Because that's what I am. She stood on that, and she stood on that word, and it didn't pay off immediately, but it paid off. When I tell you this, this man had the old magazine, and he I still will, got the old magazine. He will read it like it was the Bible. Mm. I mean, he loved Oprah. He went on the show, mm -hmm. and he was front row, right in the middle. Every time she got up, <laughs> <laughs> he was standing up clapping. He want Oprah to be his baby mom. One of them. You're a double dip there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My wife won't mind. Yeah. There's always one the yeah. wife won't mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I try to help you on that one. <laughs> like, child support. I like that name. She pay her child support. <laughs> Hilarious. That's good stuff, man. Great stuff, bro. Wow. Damn. So we're gonna rock on into the top five. We gotta take we gotta take a, a pause. Yeah, we gotta a, take that pause, you know, because again, people moment of, quick moment of silence. Understand we're in, a, in an entertainment business, so you know certain things we have to do to make sure this stuff is put out the right way. So That's I gonna say I've grew. So everybody right now can be quiet for a second. Quiet. Angelo, <laughs> you, you have that top five, my guy. Jesus. I do, man. And you know what? It just switched that quick, JT. There you go. You know why I switched that quick? Because what Brother Nash just did. Brother Nash just gave a great one. And so we already know the first one. Give me your top five celebrities of all time. Mm. Your top five celebrities of all time. So since you already gave one. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. Denzel Washington. 
Angela Bassett, mm. Michael Jackson, and our, uh, shoot, this, this is a lot. I like Michael Jackson. Then another, I would go with another singer, and that would be a, uh, shoot, I like so many. I like the consciousness, but I would say Magic, uh, not Magic, uh, uh, yeah, I like Magic Johnson too. Okay. I'll put him in there. There you go. Good deal. Dwayne, what you got over there? So you got the mic. Uh, <clears throat> celeb- <laughs> top five celebrities of all time. Uh, number one, Spike Lee. I like Spike Lee. I really like okay. Spike. Good one, good one. Um, number four. You went from number one to number four. Interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Number two. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Not number one to five. I'm sorry. Four. I'm I sorry. guess we was going to go one, four, I'm two, sorry. five, three. It was a right now. <laughs> uh, num- num- number two. Uh, Martin Lawrence. I can always watch. I like Martin Lawrence. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, number three. Hmm. My number one. I'll start with my number one. It's a little weird, but I like uh, Sidney Poitier to serve with love and to raise in the sun because the reason why. Serve with love is a great one. Exactly. That's about, that. That's one of my all-time favorite movies because it was my first time as a kid. You gotta check that out. It's my first time as a kid seeing somebody that looked like me and was so positive. And I watched that, I made my sons watch it. And so that's why he's number one all the way, hands down. And then all you child molester haters, I'm gonna go with the number one black artist of all time in pop music, Prince. No, because everybody wants to say Michael Jackson, that's why I put that pedophile shit. No, that's what the shit that was out there, negativity. I'm putting a negative on Prince, hands down, was the greatest artist from number one. My first concert I've ever seen was? Michael? Yeah, my, no, I wasn't Michael. Was just Michael? No, it was Prince. No, Frank was my first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, what he did for music and on the level, all his albums, he had a great band, but all his albums, he played his own instruments. Every single one of them. When you go and see him in concert, I've seen him four times, well, saw him in four times in concert, every single one, he played every position other than I've never seen him play drums. But if he just did yeah, just he the bass, he'd great, be great. Uh, Denzel, I'm a cop on you, Denzel. I think Denzel is the modern day Sidney Poitier. And I mean, Denzel, if you look at his body of work, I don't think hands down anybody can match it white or black in today's arts. I think, hands down, he's the best. Maya Angelou, because the way she's always, anytime, it's, and you know, read the poems, you learn about it, but the way she carried herself and every time she spoke, you, and you hear a commencement that she's done, everyone is different, because I, you know, I follow and listen to her, and she's always said something to touch her. Uh, on the sports end of it, I would have to say, I like LeBron, and I'm not saying if he has my favorite basketball player, he is now, and the debate was swayed me in the debate. <laughs> I, right think, you. I think it before, because I really think before said and done, when people talk about LeBron, LeBron is going to be spoken of just like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. I think he's going to be in the same tone as Muhammad Ali because the way he is now and what he's done outside of basketball, I think as his money grows, his philanthropy will also grow. I'm hoping that he saw us a fire where other athletes start putting some of their money behind schools, all black schools, all male schools. So, and my last one would be. I may get a lot of hate on this, but I don't even care. So, <laughs> first and foremost, I'm gonna give it up to black Jesus himself, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. You know, uh, <laughs> that's what they called that man, Black Jesus. I thought you were talking about Jesus for real. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Isaac Hayes. I mean, you like Isaac I know, Hayes? I know exactly who we're talking about. <laughs> I knew it too. <laughs> they called that man Black Jesus and Sneakers. Uh, and if you haven't checked out the movie Air, please check that movie out. Yes. 
That yeah. looks good. Hey, look, yeah. I did not think I could learn something because I, you know, I'm a big Jordan guy. But oh my goodness! Hey, you learn some stuff in that yes. thing. Yes. Boy, yes. You how do. driven he is. That's what you got to respect about him. Nothing else, boy. No. Nah, Number two, you learn uh, other stuff. <laughs> is the greatest entertainer of all time, and y'all not Prince. giving this man his respect. The greatest catalog of anybody who's ever done music, Uh-oh. Mr. Stevie Wonder. Mr. Stevie Wonder's number two. Yes. His catalog is number one all time to me. Um, Respect. Number three is my little cousin Amanda Gorman. Okay. Um, Shout out to her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Red Fox. Oh, yeah. yeah. His yeah. song is underrated. Yeah. His stand up shows. And show. number five is Chadwick Boseman. Mm. Mm. And I'm going to throw my honorary mention out there that y'all just going to get mad at. But, you know, since my cousin was cussing a lot tonight, I'm a cousin. I really don't give a no fuck. And that's Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Okay. Get it his way. Frank Sinatra. Oh, God. So do I. My favorite karaoke song. <laughs> I hate karaoke. You know it. <laughs> you know it. But the way that man carried himself, too. <laughs> the way he carried himself. Yeah. The way people just, just... Just came to he was a G. Yeah. He owned every room. Every room. I mess with all blue eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all know Robert Rufford. Yes. Yep. That's that's that, that's that's your that's your number five? The yes. actor? I will keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you know how you get you'll just be like, I only have one. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, run them. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, Michael Jordan, <laughs> Beyonce, Denzel, okay. and Michael Jackson. <laughs> I don't have two white people on my list. Oh boy. <laughs> boy, it's hard. Yeah. What you got, no, Teasy? What you got? It's hard knocking this thing down to five, man. But um, start off at number five. I'm gonna go with Jamie Fox. Okay. Is he okay? He getting better. <laughs> yeah. He in Chicago. Yeah. Oh, he in Chicago now. Uh, I yeah, heard he was we, in we know he ain't we know he ain't dead. So uh, oh, that to me dead. that tells me he's he's he, he's he, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Jamie Foxx. Man, top five. Ooh, this is rough. Um I'm not doing it in any order, but or to the last one, of course. Um Ooh, uh, Denzel, Denzel Washington. Um, like I said, that, that dude, I was just looking at a soldier story the other day. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. man, he came there all skinny with them glasses on, <laughs> sat down in front of him. Hey, man, Denzel did that one. Um, you supposed to have Prince. Uh, no, I can't write them down. It's too because my it just keep going. But Prince is Prince is there. <coughs> of course, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. And number one, mm-hmm. going with Will Smith. Interesting. Really? Mm. Your number one. His his his, his, <laughs> versa- his versatility in the acting in the acting game. I feel that though. Com- coming coming from rapping, and he wasn't that good of a rapper to me. He wasn't. Honestly, he was Un- until honest. I saw some stuff that he did underground. Uh, 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 summertime. <laughs> summertime, I, one of the yeah, greatest hits yeah, of all yeah, time. Yeah, summertime. Yeah, yeah, summertime was, but he, he wasn't. Write it. But he, he yeah, did, didn't want to do didn't it. Didn't want to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but but his, his versatility as an actor, man, the Parents stuff that he understand. does, the stuff that he does in the acting world is crazy. I, and, I believe I could beat Mike Tyson. And, and, and uh, my my honorable mention, Nightmare on My Street, R. Kelly. Don't be scared. Play oh, great oh, album. Oh, 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 don't it be scared. Don't, don't be scared. Don't, don't be scared. Is in the rotation, baby. <laughs> Robert Kelly, bro, you can play his, all his albums from. He from has his back. awesome catalog too. <laughs> he does. Yeah. It, 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 and he talked. And the people that he wrote record. for. The people. Keith Sweat did it too. I couldn't. Nobody. Get crying. I don't know what he. No, ever no, no. Keith Sweat did it too, didn't he? Did what? I know you young, but you ready. 
<laughs> you might, he, no, he said you might be you young. You may be young. You no, no, might no, be no. young, but you're ready. But he's saying the same thing. Yeah. No, uh, Robert, he's saying the same thing. Robert said, uh, uh, age, is just age ain't nothing but a number. Uh, before you rose. Uh, Kelly wasn't handing out the bank, though, hey, on allegations. Think about it, now. He said it, didn't he? Hey, man. Yeah, I did. Kells, Kel, all I say, saying and doing. you put Kells music on, bro, he front to go. back, it, go, it goes. All of them. TP1 That's and 2. Stepping music, Pitt all Nicks. of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe I can fly, brother. Mm -hmm. He was flying. He was getting away with hey. murder. That, 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 <laughs> hell yeah. Literally. <laughs> that that yeah, song and and that song and Whitney Houston. <laughs> Booga -boo which one? What was what was Whitney Houston song? Baby, in the movie? are you ready? Those two songs right there. I wish I could fly, and I will always love you. Top five celebs. All right. I'm gonna go Muhammad Ali. Yep. Um, people, I just think just change, just change the way you think the whole nine yards. I'm gonna go with Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor was a genius way before his time. If you've never watched it, I say this all the time. If you've never seen the Richard Pryor show, go back and watch it. You will be so amazed you look at, at the, the content that he had, the direction of the show. The people he had on the show who became famous through him is so many of them. This dude was a genius. This dude was talking about being a black president. But I mean, so many, man. You watch the Richard Pryor show, you'll be absolutely yeah. amazed at the genius of this man. He was way before his time um, and put a whole bunch of folks on. Uh, but yeah, Richard Pryor, man, was that guy. All right. I'm going to go with, believe it or not, he's not... The top one on this particular category is very rare. He's not my top one, but you know he's my GOAT. Yeah, you know it, Ben. LL Cool J. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. You know what it is. I actually uh, thought he was going to be number one on your hey, list. Hey, it's very rare he's not number one, but just for <laughs> so this particular list, um, I didn't put him in number one. And then I got, I got a, a, a slash between my man John Witherspoon and my man D.C. Curry, and my man T.K. Kirkland. I put all those together because those guys were always uh, friends to the club, always support the club, always shout us out. So I got number of love for those guys. John Witherspoon, man, I talked to that man about a few, couple weeks before he passed, ready to talk about coming back, and it, it really hurt my heart, man, the way he sat down in the room with my son and talked to him, man, for like 30, 40 minutes, like he was one of his own, man. That was the out of something Alec never forget, man, but it was just a great moment. He just, just, it was just the coolest moment ever. Um, and then I put beside him, so I ain't doing armaments, I'm just putting slashes. Beside him <laughs> was my man Dick Gregory. Dick Gregory would sit up in here, man, after he cussed me out, he would sit there and give so much. Oh, yeah, he cussed you out in a heartbeat, man. But the knowledge he would give and share was just, man. Seen Those that? are moments I just never, never forget. His documentary is crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dick Greg was a bad boy for a very, very long time. And my number one celeb of all time, man, I've, I've watched every old clip, read, I read any book I can see on him. Anything about this guy, man, I've just been fascinated his life um, and the transformation that he made in his life. But my man, Malcolm X. As my number one of all time. There it is. There it is. I, I, I know, Katie. I went over five, but I did slashes. <laughs> Tupac, that's another. I thought that's, had it, uh, that documentary. I, I ain't seen it yet, but I heard it was good. That's good. I heard it was good. Dear Mom, dear Mom, yeah, you told me I need to watch that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's I, I got it's yeah, good. That's, it's good. I finally caught up good. on Power last night, so now I can go to go to something else. And it's, and it's not <laughs> you still ain't watched the Watermelon Man, have you? No, I haven't. And I'm, I'm, I'm so behind on stuff, man. You gotta watch. The, the have you ever heard of the Watermelon Man? Yeah. No, I haven't heard of that. One. What? The Watermelon Man? Yes, the Watermelon Man. The black dude that dressed up as a white man. No, it's a white man, and he takes a shower, and he becomes black. 
right? Because See, I named was fascinated 12 people. with black people. <laughs> That's a new one. No, the old one. Yeah, that was I got right. it from my mama. <laughs> that, I know what you're talking about. Hey, it's called the watermelon man. When you said that, have you seen you seen the video that's going around where this this white guy starts <laughs> eating some chicken? Oh yeah, yeah. And then the chicken goes to the camera, then when it comes back, he's black. Yes. <laughs> Dre said W T H Nash. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about the watermelon man. He's like, what in the world are you talking about? Yeah, he's been talking about that watermelon man for a minute, though. Y'all gotta watch the watermelon <laughs> man. And he goes to the doctor, and they think it's out of this. And he's like, no, it's not ragweed. <laughs> it's not pollen. Watermelon and his wife man. says, oh, you are a black man now. Mm, oh, man, it's hilarious. The watermelon man. There you go. Put that on your to-do list. He said you was at Walmart today with yellow and red meat watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kate, he was y'all on it. Y'all, they, they on you tonight, man. man. They always on me. They always on me. But it's okay. I can't see the comments to fire right back. But y'all know if I can see the comments, I will fire right back. I've been quiet all night, y'all. Watermelon, man. Yeah. Oh, hilarious. Hey, hilarious. Yeah, it's an old one. Yes. Mitchell, you mind watching? Mm-hmm. I love them. She finally made it back to the show. Oh. <laughs> she sent me a cash app too, so I get to you. I get to you tomorrow. <laughs> hey man, it's been one heck of a show, Thank JT. Ooh All right, there we go. All right, y'all. So again, that's gonna do it for us. Don't nobody else say anything. Classic conversations <laughs> with JT and Lowe. And that's a cop. And we out. You dig? <laughs>